Number six then from paper two of the 2016 National 5 Maths. There we go, the standard deviation. Four marks for getting the mean and standard deviation of these numbers. Waiting times in minutes to get through in a phone connection to somebody. Well, that's a standard then. So we have to set it out on the table. So I'm going to have a column for x. A column for x minus the mean. And then another column for the square of that. Put those numbers down in any order you like. I prefer numerical order. So I'm going to put the 5, then the 10, then the 12, then the 13, then the 16. They're going to bit squint there. And then the 22. So the first part is add these numbers up. And it comes to 78. State the mean then. So the mean will be 78 divided by, and there's six of them, 6 into 78 goes 13. Well, you could have used your calculator. I'll just rewrite that wee bit here again. The mean is 13. Now you just do this bit manually, can't you? 5 take away 13, that would be negative 8. It's 8 before it. That's 3 before it. 1 before it, that's bang on. And that's 3 after it. And that's quite a bit after it, because that's going to be 9. A little check you can make is, do these add up to 0? Because we've got 12 here, and we've got negative 12, so they do. So far, so good. And squaring them you can do without your calculator. 64, 9, 1, 0, 9, and 81. Oh, you could probably add them up without your calculator. Look, 10, 24. And the 2 makes that a 10, so that's 16. There we are. There's the two totals we needed. That for the mean, and this for the standard deviation. So the standard deviation will be a hundred root square root of 164 over 1 less 5. Now this part can just be done in one go in the calculator, simply by doing the square root. And you get 5.727 and so on. And if you're not sure what to compare it to, usually for the other comparison part it gives it here. This comparison one's got one decimal place, so I'll make that 5.7 just. Part B then. Now, this was Jack. Now, Sophie also had the same problem. Not many times she phoned, but her mean waiting time was 15 minutes and her standard deviation was 4.3. Make two valid comments. Oh, it takes ages, doesn't it? Let's take the mean first of all and we'll make comments about Sophie. Right, Sophie. So, Sophie, her mean was higher at 15, so that means Sophie waited longer on average, that's the important word, as her mean, that's the connection, the mean is a measure of average, was bigger. Some say you don't know how much you need to write was bigger because hers was 15 greater than 13. Right, that's the mean average taken care of. Now, what about this standard deviation? And I've already forgotten what hers was. His was 5.7, she was 4.3. Ah, hers was less spread out. Or her waiting times, Sophie's waiting times were then either less spread out or more consistent. If you want to be fancy. As her standard deviation... was smaller. I am sure you don't need to do that, all of this at 4.3, which is less than 5.7. Yes, I'm sure you don't need to do as quite as much as that. That's just playing extremely safely.